Alright, what's up guys? Gen Z back. This is the first episode to Champ Manager 16 series. Um, this is not Soccer Manager 2016. I'm gonna abandon that, that, um, that game because the 2016 version is really not that good. Um, and you guys probably won't enjoy it either. Um, in my opinion. And, uh, I don't think I wanna upload that, but this is a very similar game. Almost exactly the same. Just, um, you know, has the better... More like a managing game than the soccer manager, but um yeah. So in the last video, I asked which teams, and I got messages and tweets, and um so um I chose is from the BPL, and this is really impressive right here. Like they have like five leagues here. They also even have the Conference Premier in the in England. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna go in the Premier League. So these are all the teams right here. Um, Aston Villa, Chelsea. You know, all these teams and the BPL and the team that I've went with that I thought was gonna be good for the series that I got suggested is Arsenal. <laughs> Let me click on Arsenal. Yeah, there you go. Arsenal manage Arsenal. Confirm yes. I'd like to manage Arsenal. Arsene Wenger out. NZ in. All right, we're gonna take Arsenal to the next level. We're gonna win the Premier League, we're gonna win the Champions League. That's really not the goal in the first season. This first season, I'm aiming for a top two or top three finish, at least a top three finish. Um, and I'm trying to reach at least the quarterfinals of the Champions League. That will be the goal right here. And uh, we have two emails there. See, Euro Champions Cup. That's the name of the Champions League in this game because I'm guessing they don't have like the rights, the copyright and stuff. They can't use that, so they use the Euro Champions Cup. So it's not a bad name, really, for my assistant manager there. So uh, here's our contractual objectives from the board. The board would like to welcome you to Arsenal. Oh, that's very nice of them. Um, your minimum objectives are finish in the top half of the table this year. Wow. Man. Qualify for the Europa League within three seasons. Transfer budget of 23.7 million pounds. Finish in the top half. Man. We're never gonna get fired because these objectives are like you know like not not good enough for the quality of our squad <laughs> but oh, that, that's good i guess really in our euro champions cup we in our group we have sporting sporting club de portugal sporting lisboa um bayer leverkusen and barcelona oh my god that's crazy we have barcelona oh my god this is a really tough group. There's like a lot. All there's not a single bad team in here. Probably the weakest would have to be Sporting, and they're we know they're a really good team. But this is gonna. This is our first picture is on the first of September. So yeah, we'll go ahead and delete that message right there. We'll go back. And we're gonna look at the squads here. Squad size 26 there. And also another new thing that has been added to this game is that when you come here, you can actually see job listings. Like you can actually like you know take a job. Um, that wasn't in the last one, Champ, Man Champ Manager 15, I believe, I don't think it was there, so, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and then look at the squad here, so team, we can't, we have a lot of, you know, I think the main thing we want to really do here is the squad formation and instructions, those are the, you know, the things that will be in our options during matches that will win us games, so first of all, we'll have a look at the squad, um, I'll, I'll try not to stutter. I know in the last, in the last episode I was kept stuttering, and it's really annoying for you guys. It was really annoying for me too. I know stuttering makes an angel, but I did some research on it, and apparently, um, and from my th my experience, I think stuttering happens when you can't think of something to say. That you're like thinking in your head. There's a process going on in your head, and you just you know stutter, I guess, to you know fill that gap because you don't want to. Go without talking, so that's why stuttering happens. But um, I'll try not to do it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so we have um, in our squad we have Petr Cech. Uh, he's 85 rated. I think he might be our highest rated on this. I don't know what Ozil is. Um, so we have Cech. We have Monreal. It's only a 73. Um, it's kind of low, I guess. I think I think I'm gonna go for a new left back maybe. But um, that's for later. Now let's talk about the squad um so we got Koscielny, Gabriel, Paulista, um, Debussy, 
Wilshire, Santi Cazorla is 81, Aaron Ramsey is 80, Ozil is an 87. Wow, that's good, I guess. Matches his FIFA rating. Um, Sanchez is an 84. How is? Yeah, I'm not gonna ask any questions. I'm not. I'm, I'm not Arsenal supporter, by the way. If you guys don't know in real life, it's for Manchester United, so this is kind of awkward for me to do. But <laughs> get through it. Um, we have Giroud. He's a striker. I, I think we're gonna be looking to bring in a new striker. That's what Arsene Wenger couldn't do. We'll try to do it here, you know, because Wenger's out. I'm in. Uh, uh, David Ospina is our backup. Very good backup keeper there. Uh, Mertesacker, who uh, I don't really like, but um, uh, I'm afraid that Arsenal fans might get pissed off. We sell Mertesacker. He's a big part of their team. Um, but yeah, I don't really like him this game. I'm trying to. He and he's getting older as well, so maybe we can bring in someone younger um, to replace him and maybe sell him on. Uh, we got Chambers who can also play center back, Oxley Chamberlain, um, Arteta, Walcott, Diva Walcott, Daniel Welbeck, Thomas Rzyski, Gibbs. Wow, our left backs are not the highest rated here. Gibbs is in only 72, Montreal is a 73. It's kind of disappointing. But uh, <laughs> Pakalan is a 72, Flamini is a 71. You know what, we'll just go ahead and right away put him on the transfer list. His, his value is 3 million. Well, I have asking price of 6 million. Yeah, it's not bad. Flamini. Yeah, he's really not in my plans. I'm just trying to get him, you know, shift him on. Uh, Flamini, um, 71 overall. Bellerin, he's 70. Um, Campbell, we have. He's a striker in this game. 70 rated. Bialik. Um, Rene Adelaide. So, uh, before we do anything, I'm going to put Bialik. On the loan list here, I can find it. I don't think we. Oh yeah, right there, make available for long. Sorry, I'm really, it's really dumb of me. And the same thing with Rene Adelaide here. Put him on the loan list. Um, yeah, that's that's it for now. Um, we'll keep Arteta and Rosiski. You know, they're getting older, but um, we'll just keep them for now. Giroud, Sanchez, keep Giroud, Monreal. Um. I'll keep those for now. So our team training here, we're gonna the training. See right now it's active and finishing long shots. You know if we touch it, it activates. Like that's the team training. Um. So um, I don't know what we should pressing. That includes tackling, defensive position, stamina, strength. I think we're gonna stay with that scoring, finishing, heading, long shots, and touch. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do because that's the most you know for to score goals. You have to score goals to win games. I think we're gonna keep it under the team training. And here, the formation. This is a um, the formation that the game came up with. So I'm gonna change all this up, the formation, and put my team on this. And I'm gonna come back right here in a second. All right, guys. So this is the team that I came up with. We went with a four-four. I guess it says their formation is four-four-one-one, but it's like a four-three-three um, with the cam and the wingers. So we have Giroud up top, Ozil behind him, and Sanchez on the left, Walker on the right, um, Cazorla and Ramsey behind Ozil, and uh, we have Monreal at left back, Koscielny and Paulista at center back, Bellerin at right back, Czech, our 85 rated goalkeeper, uh, is the goalkeeper. Um, on, the, on the substitutes, the bench we have Ospina, Mertesacker, uh, Mertesacker uh, Kakalan, Oxley, Chamberlain, Rosiski, Wilshire, Welbeck, um, yeah, that's a pretty good bench, but like I'm really disappointed with the ratings though. Like, you know, the ratings are not the same as like the counts and the grades are not the same as you know like FIFA or anything like that. These are like there has their own rating. So um, for the player, that's a good rating. Though. So he, he, over there on the reserves, that's kind of like the reserves. Um, we have Arteta, Gibbs, Debussy, Flamini, Campbell, Chambers, Bielik, and Rene Adelaide. Um, Chambers I will use a lot. Uh, mostly in center back because he does play there a lot. Uh, we'll use Debussy. Debussy, um, we can use them time to time, and, but I want to grow Bellerin out as much as possible. He is the youngster, and that's who Arsenal favor at the moment in real life. Debussy is not doing the greatest, and he's a bit injury prone to be honest. Um, Flamini, we're looking to shift him on. Um, Gibbs, I left back with an always swap him and our, him, him and not Mal out. Um, Arteta's there. He can always come on the bench. Um, he's just there for now because I wanted to put Cockline on the subs. 
but um yeah so that's what it looks now so we'll go ahead and confirm that um we got a we got a mission complete achievement thank you um yeah um now we're gonna look at our instructions here um uh, the tactics i always like to use put on attacking at first the passing on mixed tackling on balance tempo i like it on fast and the attacking i like to have them um mixed central and on the wing uh, pressing um, a high, I like them to press always high to try to win the ball. Just long shots, put it on subs sometimes, because um, if they are, if you put it on often, they always go for long shots, and often never results in goals. From set pieces, I wanted to shoot probably, and I will put on cross because we don't have a lot of you know set piece takers that can actually score the goals. We have more of like you know like playmakers from set pieces like Ozil, Kazorla. Um, Crossing, um, we're not gonna do a lot of crossing. If Giroud's in the team, we're gonna do a crossing, but we're most likely gonna get a new striker in, so we'll put that on mixed. So, yeah, those are the instructions. So, we'll go on here for player roles. Our captain is not Matthew Debussy. Um, here you can see the like the categories. So, captain should be one with leadership. And you see Arteta, Motorcycle, but none of them are actually in my first team. Kind of sucks. We can't make Koscielny, he's only a 66 leadership. Um, I don't know what we do here. All the people with the good leadership um, have are old and the man in my first team. We'll put on Monreal for now. You know what? Uh, forget that. We'll just put it on. Uh, where's Czech? Doesn't Czech have? We'll just give it a Koscielny for now. And free kick taker. Um, free kicks there. You can see Sanchez. He has three star. We'll give Sanchez. Corner taker. Um, Cazorla has three star corners. Cazorla, yeah, that's perfect, I guess. Penalties, you got Arteta and Cazorla. I think Cazorla will take the penalties. And those are the ro roles. There you can see the finances, the season stats. You can see top scorers, assists, and all that. Um, the competition here. And, of course, the team training is on scoring. So, um, now we're going to go over to our transfers. I'll make my shortlist, and I'll see you guys there. <laughs> oh, guys, real quick. Um, I just want to show you here, you can see the staff over here and the upgrades D on the bottom where it says upgrades. So I already hired four staff members. So well, basically one of them is uh, over here, you can see Chief Scout. Chief Scout basically tells us the players that's interested in our team. And like I just saw this and laughed. Um, apparently John Terry is interested in joining Arsenal. Um, he's interested in joining every club, every team I did here in the Premier League. He's always interested in joining them. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Torre is interested. Yeah, Victor Valdez and Ivanovic um, are interested in joining Arsenal. But um, don't worry, I'm not gonna sign any of these guys. That's really unrealistic. Um, to signing them for Arsenal. But um, <laughs> I just thought, look at this, and I thought that was funny. All right, guys. So this is the short list that I've came up with here. Um, the players that I wanna get into the team. First of all, there we have. Um, in terms of the strikers, first we have Karim Benzema. Benzema, obviously, Arsenal targeted him, but if the move kind of fell out. Um, he's 84 rated in the game with value of 18.2 million. But Real Madrid are probably gonna want way more than that. We only, if we're gonna go for Benzema, we'll have to blow our whole budget basically, and then have like money left from if we could Fellaini or something. Um, he's values at 18.2 million. Um, next we have Icardi, Mario Icardi, um, I think, you know, he had a stellar season for Inter last season, he scored like, he was joint top scorer I think with Luca Toni, um, with like 18 or 16 goals, no, I think it was m probably 20, I'm so sorry if my statistics are off and it was probably at least 20 goals, um, he was joint top scorer in the Serie A, so I know, and he's very young too, like 21 or 22. Um, he's 78 rated here. His value of 11.4 million. We can definitely get him. Um, you can, there you can see his stats. Great 84 pace, 90 finishing, 84 first touch, 87 movement, 81 heading. And uh, sorry if I forgot to show you guys Benzema stats. Look at the Benzema stats. These are crazy. 89 pace, 87 finishing. Morata has more finishing than him. Um, I don't know. Uh, Icardi, sorry. Icardi has more finishing than him. I don't know how that happened, but uh, I guess... You know, <laughs> the game thought they had more fin better finishing than him. But he has 91st touch, 91 movement. That is way better than Icardi. 87 creativity, that's like, Icardi has like something in the reds. His 
creativity is red so Benzema you know he can also create as well his heading is good stamina is really good stamina is important in this game his crossing is also very good um, but yeah we'll go back um, our third option here is Gonzalo Higuain he's probably my um, second biggest target behind Benzema um, Benzema is probably my first target if, if we can't afford him but um so we'll have a look at Higuain's stats here 79 pace not as quick as others but he is a clinical finisher you can see there the most finishing out of those three strikers 91 finishing 83 long shots you know 88 first touch 91 movement he also has good creativity and good strength stamina is good also so uh, Higuain would be perfect too but he's also valued at 17 million could be really expensive but um uh, and then now into defenders so I did say I want to kind of shift on um Mertesacker um, but really, um, so th if we were to do that, these are the two replacements I'm be looking to replace him with. Um, John Stones here from Everton. He's been linked with every club in the Premier League last transfer window, most notably Chelsea. But I think Arsenal were looking at him too at some point. But um, he has some well-balanced stats. There's tackling, marking, defensive positioning, strength, stamina is all good. His pace is good too. Um, that's all important in the Premier League. And we have Mustafi from Valencia. Who's also German could be a good replacement for Mertesacker. Um, um, he has he'd be perfect alongside Koscielny. He has 77 stamina, 80 heading, 84 tackling, 82 marking. He has 82 leadership as well, so he can be a captain that we need in the back. Um, strength is 83, so he's also really good. His value is at 9.1 million, 8.2. Now this is only gonna happen if we do sell Mertesacker, but um. If you guys want us me to sell murder Zagger, you can put it in the comments below and just tell me um we can make that happen so i think this will be it for today um for this episode um i'm gonna upload these episodes daily so these episodes so this episode that will be it is just introducing you to the team showing you the transfer targets and the next episode will make we'll make some bids for the players and um hopefully play our first friendly match against reading there you can see and um so that's pretty much it for this episode um, so leave comments for if you want some transfers who you want to see in the team. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you guys in the next episode. Peace.